Peen going to give you pus, worms, parasites, and cancer part 13. Ever heard of Crohn's disease? Ulcerative colitis? I mean, clinical findings of mucoid or hemorrhagic rectal discharge, anal pain, constipation, fever, or tenismus. Wow. Mm -hmm. Invasive, systematic infection, and if it's not treated early, it can lead to chronic colorectal fistulas and strictures. Reactive anthropathy is also been reported. Ooh, reactive anthropathy? Oh, that means reactive arthritis. You're going to start having pain in your joints, your knees, your ankles, your feet, especially are the biggest ones. So you're going to feel like you have arthritis and that's what they're going to call it. Arthritis. Oh, they might call it anthropathy to let you know that it's based on you having a disease. If you have been diagnosed, that is. And again, here we go at the bottom. However, reports indicate that LGV can also be asymptomatic until it's taken full set. It's in there real good. So a common way that this LGD manifests in heterosexuals is they're going to get tender inguinal or femoral uh, lymphadenopathy. They always use these big, big words. It's a bunch of confusion, but that just means your lymph nodes are swollen you're having a reaction, you're infected, you have an infection. Pus is generating in your body that's going to cause swollen knees, swollen ankles, swollen feet, etc., etc., etc. Again, remember, it can be asymptomatic. You may have already had the boils and other things happen, but it says here, by the time you get the lymphadenop lymphadenopathy, <laughs> lymphadenopathy, the, this LGV, can be severe so by the time your lymph nodes swell up you have the swelling in your joints this is a severe infection and if you su suffer from oral cankers oral sores or things in your mouth that can occur and might be associated with cervical adenopathy Next part coming soon.